Hey friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and I have another delicious and free recipe for you. Today we're making crock pot Mexican casserole and you can get the full recipe. The link is in the description. <music> people. Thanks so much for joining me today in my kitchen. Today we have a very simple recipe. It's crockpot Mexican casserole. You're just going to throw some good stuff in there. Then we're going to stir in some corn tortillas and cheese at the end for a one pot dinner tonight. It's a fun way to do taco Tuesday without just having traditional tacos. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I did is I browned my ground beef in my crock pot. I have a five in one slow cooker. I'm kind of breaking up some of these pieces of meat. I forgot to use my meat thingy my bobber. I have a five in one slow cooker, which means you can saute right in the pot. Um, you don't have to do that. If you have a traditional crock pot, just brown it in a skillet and then throw it in. I just really like my five in one cookers because it's one less pan I have to clean. So I went ahead and browned the ground beef. And then I drained like any grease or water that was left in the pot. And now we're ready to get going. Okay. So Mexican casserole, crock pot Mexican casserole. Um, you can get this completely on eating on a dime. If you just go to eatingonadime.com and search Mexican casserole, you can grab the recipe or the recipe is down below the link in the description. Or if you just say recipe, we will send it to you. Okay. So I got a half an onion. I'm going to sprinkle in here. I've already chopped it before we hopped on. Just throwing that in there. And you could saute that with the um, hamburger meat as well if you wanted to. Then we're going to throw in red enchilada sauce. If you don't really like red enchilada sauce, you can also do the green enchilada sauce. Um, but the red is great with the ground beef. I feel like Green enchilada sauce goes better with chicken and red goes better with beef. But honestly, I think they're pretty interchangeable. So I have two of the smaller cans. If your store has like the bigger cans, you could just do one of the bigger cans as well. Okay. Pop these lids off. Pour these right on in. We're going to throw in a can of Rotel. Rotel, if you're not in the United States, sometimes like Rotel is technically just a brand. So it's basically diced tomatoes with green chilies. If you don't have this in your area, you can easily do um, like a red salsa. You could substitute about a cup of red salsa. Um, or you could throw in a can of diced tomatoes and a can of green chilies. Apparently I didn't do a good job opening this up. There we go. Dumping that in. We're going to throw in some corn, canned corn drained. So if you kind of want to think of this as kind of like a, uh, I have a sink over here for those if you can't see that. <laughs> it's kind of like a taco soup, but in a casserole form. Sprinkle that in. Then we're going to do a can of black beans. But we are going to drain and rinse these. So let me get a strainer. Excuse me. So I'm going to use a strainer and over my sink, I just dump them in. And then run some water on them to rinse them off. And the reason we rinse them off is because on black beans, if you don't rinse them off, it makes your entire meal look very dark and black and not as pretty. Um, plus when you rinse beans in your cans, you lose a lot of the extra sodium or all the extra junk in there. Okay, so a quick rinse. Okay, I'm gonna throw those in. Okay, and then we're going to add our seasonings. We need a tablespoon of taco seasoning. That's going to be about a half a packet of taco seasoning 
or you could just use our homemade taco seasoning. I'm going to do just a little bit more because I upped my meat in mine. Um, so if you go to eatingonadime.com, you can type in homemade taco seasoning and you can see how we make taco seasoning. It's very easy to do and very flavorful. Now on this recipe, it originally called for one pound of ground beef. I went ahead and doubled it to two because I have a really large family, a lot of hungry boys. And instead of doubling the whole recipe, I just made it slightly meatier. So it's a little meatier. Is that a word? slightly meatier. We're going to say it's a word um, just to bump up the protein for my hungry growing boys. Okay. But that's a great way that you can up, you know, um, an easy recipe and make it more. Another idea would be to throw in an extra can of beans that would bump up more flavor without bumping up your, uh, hmm. Yeah. Cost. Thank you. Cost. I need my second cup of coffee. Thank you guys for being so nice. For those of you who are sharing and hearting, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're awesome. You are so great. Okay, so now I'm going to do some minced garlic. Sprinkle that in. And we're done. A quick stir of all these ingredients. We are going to let this cook on low for a couple hours. Okay, so see, delicious, easy, yummy. So think of it, it's like a soup, but it's not a soup because it's not, it's, it's thick, almost like, well, it's thicker than a chili. It's kind of like taco meat with all the yummy stuff in it. Okay, we're gonna cover this and cook this on low for a couple hours. 30 minutes before it's time to eat, we're going to take some corn tortillas. Let me just show you this while we're on here. Let me open these up for you. So just corn tortillas. They can be white corn, yellow corn. I don't care. You're going to need about 12. And you're going to run your knife through them into quarters. Just like so. So you'll have these cute little triangles. And then all you're going to do is throw them in the crock pot, stir it in, top it with cheese, and then let it set for about 30 minutes. And you have this delicious, easy casserole all in one pot. That means we only have one thing to clean at the end of the night. So right now, I'm just going to clean this up, which everything goes in the trash or in the dishwasher. And then tonight, all we have to do is clean up this one pot. So it's super simple, super easy, extremely delicious. And you can get the recipe completely for free at eatingonadime.com. Okay, that's it, friends. I hope you liked this simple recipe. Remember, you can get you can get the full recipe, but you can also see the pictures on how um, on how delicious it is, how much, so you can see the final product. But this is a really easy recipe that you can throw in before you head to work and come home, and this is all you have to do is throw this in. Another option is you could throw in tortilla chips instead and stir them in. You could do flour tortillas if you want to. You could just eat this just as it is and throw it in and make burritos. So you can take the same recipe and completely make it your own. I love to top it with fresh cilantro and avocado and diced tomatoes. And dinner is done. Yay. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, you can get the full recipe at eatingonadime.com or just drop the word recipe below and we will send it to you. Have a great day and I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our family-friendly recipes. Remember, you can get the full recipe at eatingonadime.com or the link in the description. I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends.